Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I have a new baby here that you guys have not officially met on video yet. Um, please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel by smashing the subscribe button. Make sure that you grab you some merch. The link is in the description bar or you can see it running across the bottom of the um, video. Um, as well as clicking the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, if you're not a part of the Chatterbox, make sure you join the Chatterbox. It is $1.99 a month to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Um, the Chatterbox, just a real brief description of the Chatterbox. The Chatterbox is mostly not for a group for isolation. You don't have to be a certain type of collector or anything like that. It's just more where... People are there for the dolls and doll topics and um, some non-doll topics. Um, I do story time, um, background stories on my babies, so on and so forth. But let me introduce this baby. Um, her name is Lucy. She had been up for sale. I have since then decided just to let it go. Um, I refuse, you know, as, a, as an upcoming growing artist myself, um, I do, or I should say doll painter, doll artist, whatever you want to call me. Um, I do, um, I, I appreciate the art. I appreciate what artists do. Um, some stuff that may look simple to you <laughs> may not be so simple. And, um, this, I've been wanting a baby from, um, Emily Dream Dolls for a, a long, long time. Her name is Emily, it's Pisasca, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, I don't want to butcher her name, but it starts, last name starts with a P. But she's Emily Dream Dolls on um, Instagram. Um, you know, it's kind of hard not to, I said, I'm not going to be doing all these shouts out and all this and stuff because, you know, it's just whatever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But it's hard not to give artists credit for their work. And this artist is does a phenomenal job. Um, you guys know I'm not a painted hair person for the most part, but her painted hair is amazing. Um, I was more so thinking I wanted to have more of a different sculpt, but when I walk in this room and I see her laying anywhere, in any position that I've moved her, her, she just looks like a real baby. Um, the, you know, like every, every other baby or struggle some babies are harder to capture the realism than um others so she actually look a little bit more real in person to me um the painting that the artist does is very translucent which gives it like a very healthy glow like you know almost look like she could be silicone or something because she does not she look like she's soft to touch um, so I'm going to change her but I want to turn her face a little bit because I, I realize I, some babies I really love when they have their head kind of turned. So I do that a lot. I'm going to take off her hat as well just to show her, um, her painted hair. Um, she does have, e the, she is the Evie by Laura Lee Eagles head and her limbs are, um, the Oga R by um a Rosalie by Oga R. And um I I kinda like when artists do stuff like that, like you know, switch them around sometimes it gives them more of a unique look. They're not the same as every other baby. Um but um I'll be perfectly honest with you. I actually kinda after I thought about it, I was like, dang, I kind of wish I would have gotten the full, you know, um, Evie limbs. I do have that scope here as well that I will be painting. And matter of fact, let me grab the head just so you guys can see how phenomenal she did with bringing a baby alive. Um, it's technically not my job to do, but I just want you guys to see the realism in this baby um and you know as much as i need the, the money 
I am definitely not hurt by keeping her um, because I'm not gonna um, give her away because this, this artist's work is not something that should be just given away. So she went from that vinyl to that. So this is something that seems easy to do, but it's really not. Um, I mean, you got that crazy color. I mean, it literally, right? Let me show you. And she has the lighter hands and feet. So, let me take her socks off. Um, she does come with a tummy plate, but you know, like with most of my babies, I don't, I don't even deal with the tummy plate. It's just in the way for me. Um, it kind of wrap around and everything. So I sound like Miss Perfect, Miss Patricia when I say that and everything. So yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead and get her in this sleeper. I have been trying not to cover her up. Um, because I just love looking at her paintwork, but I want to see what she looks like in something other than pink. I feel like because she has a lot of red in her, pink, the pink sometimes is just too much pinky, but she still looks good in it. And, um, so I am going to put her in a sleeper that kind of might make her look a little boyish, but we will... We'll get over it. We will get over it. I did take her apart. I'm a stickler about my waiting on my babies. Um, she was very light um, and not fluid at all when I got her. Um, so I took all her waiting out of her head and her body. I have not touched her limbs. Um, I didn't even open them them up. I just took her stuff out of her head and her body, and I reweighted her with my weighting material. Um, the artist used that very sand-like sand um, glass beads, which is um, not inappropriate. Um, it is it is a material that some artists use. Um, but it's very, very fine, it's extra fine, and it doesn't have much weight to it at all. Um, I used, um, I ac accidentally bought that one time. I actually threw it out um, because I just did not like it. Um, it doesn't, as much, you could put like 10 pounds in it and it still feel like, like four pounds, I don't know. But anyway, um, nevertheless, like I tell you guys all the time, some people do not like heavy um, dolls, so when artists weight their babies light, I don't, I don't get upset. I don't judge them. I don't think that it takes away from their art. Um, I'm actually judging by their paintwork, not by the weighting. I can always change that. So, you know, and I did. <laughs> so, um, that's just something that I will do. Look at this. <laughs> Tessa, oh, look at this little baby. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just something that I I will do. I, I don't have a problem with doing it. Um and yeah. But yeah, so she's she's weighted really nice and she feels nice. Like her head will flop back and you know, she's more fluid and she's got weight to her. Um, I love my babies to have a lot of weight to them. So, let me get her in this little sleeper. And I know, like I said, I know it looks a little boyish. And it probably is a boy sleeper. But I wanted to see her in other colors. And I gotta, I'm going to have to buy her other colors other than pink. Because... I think she will do really well in creams and um, light blues and um, just a lot of colors beyond pink. I think it will really 
like complement her um, skin tone. So I will be doing that. But say my name is Lucy. Mama was kept going back and forth and I kept saying, oh, she looked like a Lucy. And so her name is Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. And my little sweet Lucy. Oh, you might could have wear that little um, Peter Rabbit hat. But I would have went with this. But I'll be honest, I I don't put her hats on. As you see, the hat, how the hat was like kind of partially off. I actually do that on purpose. Like I like to see the sides of her hair, of the painted hair. So I don't like put her in hats. Often, 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 sorry. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that is my little girl. Um, like I said, I did want to sell her because I needed the funds. I have just held off on it. I am not, like, pushing it anymore. Um, I'm not saying that I won't still sell her but for now I'm just gonna focus on selling my own babies and um maybe in time I won't feel the pain, the sting of the payment for her so there we go look at this little girl oh my gosh so yeah see what I'm talking about I think that does her really nice. Let me see. All right. And we will. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Well, let's see if we can. I love how her little legs curl up too. Like that's just so newborny. Newborny. Um, this artist also did the Rosalie by um over arm and i loved it i i did not like that sculpt for the record i did not like the face on that sculpt it drove me insane even just look at it but when i seen her do it then i start seeing other people's versions of it and it's just so cute um now i actually really love it and we'll um um i'm supposed to be painting that one actually um for one of my repeat customers. So I will be painting that. I also will be painting um, Evie by Laura Lee Eagles as well. Um, and you guys, oh, I'm actually working on that one now. So um, I will be doing my version of it. Um, so that will be pretty, um, pretty cool. Um, well, I shouldn't say I'm working on it. I have it on my desk. I'm going to, um, get her ready prepped and I'll be painting start painting her not today um I probably will start actually to be honest more like Wednesday I I want to focus solely on Finn right now and then um maybe by Wednesday I will but then I don't know I mean in between yeah I'll probably do something a little bit tonight when I get tired and want to just settle settle down but yeah so I got that one and um she's about i don't know she's probably like 18 inches but i do have um so so i will share with you guys in the next video maybe the next video because i don't know I, I need to change nigel again i absolutely hate him in those stripes that i put him in um but maybe i'll change him off camera but i'll do um probably do susu next so you guys can see susu and um yeah I actually at one moment had a crazy moment because, you know, out of desperation and like, gosh, I just need to sell a baby. I thought about selling my um, Dwayne girl by Claire Teller and then I was like, ah, I can't do it. Can't break the twins up. <laughs> so I didn't, I, I haven't done that. Like I just, you know, I've been all over the place, but I'm definitely selling Finn um, because I have secured myself a blank Finn. Um that I will um, be able to bring to life for my personal collection. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one go that I'm going crazy over. And then I will um, 
I'm actually going to just end up with me a fan in my collection. So hopefully all goes well and, you know, I'm able to afford to bring all this stuff to, to light as planned. So thanks guys for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and tell your friends to tell a friend. You know what I mean? I like to tell your friend to tell a friend to come see my channel. Oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> Get your merch.